Hey folks, cleared away some of the stones. I thought you might like to see this. Um, this root. You can see this. You can see underneath there. I need a stone. There's a bottle. And that's Raleigh's, and look at that. That's an older one. This is definitely 1900. Uh, this is Raleigh's trademark. Um, I already see that. That's a good one. So it must be doing something right here. Oh, I figured maybe we're thinking the closer we are to the road, chances are that's where they dump the bottles first and then build up an edge. See something in there. Oh, here we go. See if we can get you a little closer. You can see it there. Right there. Nobody get their hopes up because I don't like our chances. Huh? Oh wow. It's in one piece. And that was a pop bottle. That's the nineteen twenties. Of course is the paper labels long gone. But let me move you back. Uh there's no chips. No chips. Chances are the paper label was here one time because probably still a bit of residue of glue. But yeah, that's uh, yeah, by the 1920s they were using paper labels and the 30s. Or it was paint, I should say. Paint. And when that paint got wet, it wasn't like the paint they used on the bottles. In, uh, like the paint they used in the bottle, in the pop bottles from the 1950s. Uh, well, I guess it was a better quality of paint. And when they put it on, it, they baked it on, and it stayed. Whereas in the 1920s, they were just coming out of, um, they were just starting the painting on the bottles. So... The paint wasn't very good and it washed off over time. I 
I really don't think much survived underneath here. No, I wish. Like they're so. Like the stones are so thick. I just can't see it. Oh, that looks like it was a can. Not much left of that. <laughs>